Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love Brie, and today I have a tutorial video for you. Um, today I thought I would do something different and something that I haven't done on my channel in a really long time. So before, um, I think like three, four years ago, I made some bookmarks for the corner of your pages and books, journals, things like that. Um, and I thought I would do that with this die here. It's the paperclip mini album die from scrap diva designs so this is a design team project um tutorial if you guys would like to purchase this die or any other dies i will have an affiliate link which will be linked down below um but yeah i thought i would share with you guys how i created it um it is a magnetic bookmark so i will share with you guys how to do that um i did do one off camera just to make sure that it does work out and it did and I will be sharing with you guys some examples on how this will work. So you can use this as a bookmark or anything else that you would like to use it with or like for. But it basically opens up like this. So. And I didn't do too much dimension since I'm going to be using it in a book. It opens like this. And you can easily cover this up. I did mess up on this part, so I had to make my own hinge. But um, you can definitely cover that up. And it just closes, and it's magnetic. So you guys can hear it, but when it closes. And it's relatively flat. And here's the back. So again, you don't have to use this as a bookmark. You can even use it um, as packaging. Like if you put something small enough for, you know, in this glassine bag or something thin, you can close it up and just have whatever you're putting in here at the bottom so that it closes. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you guys how it looks in a book at the end of the video so that way you guys can kind of have an idea of what it looks like. But this is an example here, and I already have everything die cut. The die does come with extras, so it comes with little um, branches and some dragonflies. And here's some more greenery. But today I'm just going to be using the main pieces, so this is what it looks like. So you get this lace edge piece which is the main piece you get this right here which creates the mini album but we're using that to make the bookmark and then these little lace edges are to decorate the top part so that way the lace kind of continues on which I didn't use I was going to but decided not to so I did do this out of two pieces you need two of each piece two of this light pink and then I did this layering paper out of some parasol collection or parasol paper from Maggie Holmes for the layering piece and then the lace one I did a darker pink so the last one that I did I did use green and pink and this is how it looks layered and yep so that's how or that's what I cut you're gonna have a total of six pieces again you're gonna need two of each piece and let me go ahead and just set this aside. Okay. So, for this, you're going to start with the piece that has the little hinges on here. And I'm going to use my bone folder to crease one of them. So I'm just going to fold this. And it's up to you if you want to fold both of these. You really just need this bottom one to be folded. This one you're going to cut off anyway. So I'm actually going to use my paper trimmer just because I want it to be straight. And what I did was I lined up the tip of this here. If you have the Fiskars one, it's really easy because the lines are all um, going all the way down. I lined it up at four and a quarter. And I just trim that off and you're left with this little hinge so again I just lined this up with four and a quarter cut this off and now you're left with this one piece now for this one the one I didn't fold I'm gonna line this up at four inches and cut off both of them 
But again, you can use your scissors and do that. But I just want it to make sure it's straight. So, okay. All right, so the one with the little hinge part, I'm gonna glue that one first, and you're just gonna glue it right on top of one of the lace pieces. And for this, I am going to use liquid glue. Oh, and actually, before I do that, because what I'm gonna do is put my magnet. I'm gonna grab my magnets. I use the K&J magnets, and you guys, this is actually a really pricey magnet. I've had these for a while because I've been just using them when I really, really, really want to, because they are pricey. I paid so much, and just for the shipping itself, it cost me like oh, an arm and leg. But this is where I get them from. K and J, or no, KJ Magnetics. I'll have their website down below, but honestly, it's not one I prefer. Um, I also use basic gray ones that I will have linked on my Amazon if you guys would like that. Um, I'll have it down below on my Amazon storefront. Those are way cheaper. They're just a little bigger, like the size of them, but just much cheaper. Um, okay, so... Uh, let me go ahead and grab two magnets because I'm going to need two. If anyone knows where I can get small, thin magnets, I would love to know. Okay. So I have two, and what I'm going to do is add glue where I want it. And I'm just going to put it... So I just put a little bit of glue and drop that on and you can have it I prefer like you put it a little bit close to the bottom just not all the way at the end because you want to make sure that when you glue the paper it'll glue around the magnet and I'm just gonna add this on So the mistake I made was I put glue on the hinge. You don't want to do that. So I wasn't thinking. And this just lines up with the little dots on the lace piece. And I'm just going to fold this to make sure that it could still fold over. And then I'm going to use my bone folder and make sure it's all down and you can do your stitching before this or after whatever you prefer I'm not going to do stitching for this but you can okay and then I'm going to go ahead and layer one of my layering pieces right on top it's going to come together quick And you want your magnet to be as thin as possible so that way you can't even see it. So if you guys can see here, you can't even tell there's a magnet. So that's what that looks like. And now what I'm going to do is... Got to adhere this and I'm going to flip it over so that the embossing is... And the cut is nicer on the other side because they match up perfectly. Okay, I'm going to do it this way to where I have the hinge get glued onto the back of this one. So that way you can't see it on the inside. So I'm going to glue this. And just make sure this is lined up and then fold it over. And then this is just going to get glued on top and that's going to cover up that hinge. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Okay, so yeah, definitely add the glue to the inside of your hinge and then glue it on top of the piece that folds over or goes on top. Okay, now before I glue this layer right here onto here, 
I'm going to add my magnet and to get these lined up perfectly, you just drop it on there and it goes right where it needs to be and you just put your glue and drop it down. So that way they're lined up perfectly. And now I'm going to add the glue here and I'm just going to add a lot of glue here because I want to make sure it sticks. Okay, and I added some glue on the magnet too. I'm just going to open this up so that way I can get this glued on here nicely. And then glue this down. I just want to make sure that was on street and lined up. I'm just going to hold down on this end so I can make sure that it's going to glue on good. Okay, so there it is. All done super quick. And you guys can even decorate the inside. But as you guys can see, it's clean on the inside. No hinges showing. And when you close it, it just closes up. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this one since it was a quick video. And I feel like I always decorate my stuff on camera, so let's see what we could do for this one. I did use some of the papery pack. So maybe I could use some on here. And I've said this before, I use wash, the little washi stickers. I also use those. I just don't take the backing off. Um, let's see. I didn't buy much ephemera for this collection, so some of these pieces I'm trying to not use too much of. And I don't mind anything going on top because it's going to be sticking out of the book anyway, so it won't get in the way. Okay, I think this might be too busy. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this. I think that's like actually perfect. And then I'm going to see if my puppy stickers have something. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to glue all this down. I'm just going to leave this here. Do I want this? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so I'm going to use glue. And I'm going to let it kind of hang off a little bit. And then this one I'm going to use ATG for. Just because it's a wash, uh, washi sticker, I don't want it to like buckle or anything. And I'm going to put this, I did this flower on foam, so I'm going to do that to this ephemera piece. And if you guys saw my Christmas card video, my most recent one, I used this foam. And it's really thin, so. So I'm going to try my best to do as many process or tutorial videos for the dies. So that way you guys can see. I know a lot of you guys like seeing the process of me using them. So the ones that I can and I know will be fast, I will do but there will always be project shares, so. 
those will always be up, but I'll do my best so y'all can see me create with the dies. Just getting this where I want it. Okay, and then I'm trying to see if I want one of these. I don't know where to put it. Okay, I'll just not do that for now. Um, I could put one of these. And I'm going to look and see if on here, this is so cute. Oh yeah, I'm going to add that there. And then I have this sticker book, so maybe I could put one of these words because they're clear. This says perfect day. Oh yeah, that's cute. And then I think I'm gonna do Okay. All right, so that's how it turned out. That's what it looks like. Cute. The perfect day. I have the cardstock stickers and the puppy stickers. Even the little papery washi sticker, ephemera pack. And this is the back. Came together. <laughs> came together pretty quick. Okay. So here's this, it just closes. So let me show you guys how it looks in a book. Okay, so I just wanna show you guys in different kinds of books so that way you guys have an idea on like what this can actually fit in. Um, so I have this, which is like a journal and it does have a um, little like bookmark already, but Oh well, you can do it for other things. So let's just say I want to put a bookmark here. How cute! And again, it's just magnetized on there, doesn't come off. And that's what it looks like on the top. It's a little bulky, but not too crazy. And you just go to the page. You can even do two. So this one, I could put like on a different one. And that goes there. Then you got two different ones. So you can like flip through whichever page. And then since I have a piece hanging out here, flip through that one. Looks like this. And you can even, let's take this one off. Right, so that's like in a bigger book, right? But not everyone has this big of a book. So you could do like a planner if you have a planner. This one obviously was from Christmas. That's how long it's been since I've worked on it. But let's just see. This one. So same thing, just put it on a page, you have one this month, put it on here, bam, magnetizes on there, 
not everyone has a planner, but if you do, again, it's not crazy. Like, I know it looks bulky, but I don't mind the bulk. It's not that crazy. You just go to the page. Bam. And they're cute. And you made them. And they're magnetized, so it's not like it'll just come out. It'll stay in place. And if you guys like reading books, you guys can even do a book. So I have Milk and Honey here, which I've read like a dozen times. And this one also has a bookmark. But if you want a page that you want to reread or something, same thing. I know I keep showing you guys, but it's just to show that different size books they fit in and what they look like. So like how cute would that be to have in your book? Close it up. And if you're just reading a book and you just, you know, want to have that, um, you have just one, it's really not too bad. You don't even have to add the foam, but you know me, I have to. So there's a book and then same with these, like traveler's notebooks and stuff. So like I haven't worked on this since COVID started. <laughs> Sorry for the word, but same ish, different day, stay at home. I was just pregnant doing nothing. So, you know, again, these fit in there as well. So even thin books like traveler's notebooks, they fit in and they just look cute. So adorable. I love how it looks, especially in traveler's notebooks. So that's it you guys. These are my little magnetic bookmarks made with the paperclip mini album from Scrap Diva Designs. If you guys are interested in the die, I will have an affiliate link linked down below. You guys can go to her shop and just look up the paperclip mini album die and you'll find it. Um, I definitely do recommend it. Um, even just making an album, it would be really cute. It is a very mini mini album. But there it is, you guys. I hope this inspired you guys to make a couple of bookmarks for your books or even just your idea journals. If you do like um, measurements and stuff in a journal, this will work too. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you guys like today's video, just let me know down below in the comments. And I hope that you guys have a great day, whatever day it is that y'all are watching this. And oh, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.